Hi, I'm Arius, and today I'm going to tell you the best way to go about getting your very own Warlock's Ring. As most of you know, a Warlock's Ring is a unique legendary artifact that increases your attack speed. It also comes with a retaliating bonus and deals out a small amount of damage when directly targeted by a spell. Now, as far as I know, the lowest level that someone has found a Warlock's Ring is 46, but I believe you can get it as early as 44. So why is this ring so important? Well, it's hard to understand if you've never owned one. But to put it simply, testing different setups that involve double resource rings, double elemental damage rings, even though the retaliating damage is really not that much, this still means the Warlock's Ring will always win in a DPS contest. So how do you go about getting a Warlock's Ring? First thing, do not ever, under any circumstance, get rid of a unique legendary artifact item. Here's why. Now imagine a loot table with 24 items. As a rule of thumb, you will never be allowed to get two of the same artifact. So, as they are pulled out of the loot table because you acquire the item, your chances to get a Warlock's Ring go from 1 in 24 to 1 in 23. So if you're following, all you have to do is keep getting artifacts until you finally get a Warlock's Ring. You may get it sooner, and you may not. So how do you get artifacts? Well, the only way to get artifacts are from chests, and here are the drop rates as far as what I know. Golden chests have a 0.1%, Elder chests have a 1%, and Legendary chests have a 5% chance of dropping an artifact item. So if we take this information and apply it to the 24 artifacts that I know about, it'll work something like this. Once you get an artifact, keep it because you will only keep improving your chances at getting a Warlock's Ring. At this point, the best way to keep acquiring artifacts is through Abyss Gold Chest Runs. Start at the recommended level, then simply kill enemies until you get a gold chest. Reset and do it again. As you acquire more artifacts, the loot table will get smaller and smaller until only a handful of items are left and RNG will have no choice finally give you the ring. Here's some special tips. Search for artifacts in gold chests. Even though the drop rate is only 0.1%, the reason why is because you could farm a lot of gold chests. Yup, that's right. Once you figure out a good way to farm, like I said earlier, in the abyss, or even jobs, or winning in the arena, and even event quests, all of these are good ways to get gold chests so you can acquire a lot of them. Now you can stack your gold chests along with all of your other chests. Now keep in mind, you can only keep up to 100 total chests. So if you want to stack them and then open all of them at the same time, sure, that'll work. Or you can just open them as you get them. Either way should be fine. Now what about legendary and elder chests? Save them. Since they have a much better drop rate, only use them when you have reduced the loot table down to a smaller size. What size? That's up to you, but I would definitely hold on to those until you get at least three to five artifacts. That way, you can increase your chances to getting that Warlock's Ring that much more. If you'd like to check out the unofficial wiki that lists the artifacts known today, check out the link in the description. Or you could just keep watching the video. Observe how a lot of the artifacts are lower levels, unfortunately. But that just means our baby tunes can use them if they find them. The only four artifacts that are marked level 50 and actually may be usable in some way are Onyx Saber, Onyx Cleaver, Lord's Mail, Chill Rend, and Warlock's Ring. I only have a Lord's Mail and Warlock's Ring, and I've made some great videos on how to use them. So feel free to check those out right here on my channel. I hope that helps, and good luck getting your Warlock's Ring. My name is Arius, and I play games. Cheers!